In this video, I wanted to give a quick update on the uh, performance difference between Intel's Tiger Lake i7-1165 G7 and AMD's Ryzen 7 4800U, both of them being the ultra portable notebook processors. So uh, to give a little bit of background, Intel is launching this Tiger Lake processor shortly a uh, couple of days after I will be making this video on September 2nd and the big news will be the improvement in the GPU compared to the previous Ice Lake series of processor. But still AMD's 4800U is still the king of the uh, high performance ultra portable notebook processors. Uh, with this launch of the Intel's Tiger Lake, Intel is going to catch up in the GPU section, the graphics section of this processor. But the, the overall uh, big idea is AMD is still winning it's, and is building by a wide margin in CPU performance, especially multi-threaded CPU performance. And the key reason behind this is that AMD's this 4800U is able to pack 8 cores and 16 hyper threads in that one single uh, core compared to 4 cores and 8 threads for uh, Intel's Tiger Lake. So the most of this performance difference is going to come up due to this number of threads. Uh, though AMD's processor is working at a lower nominal frequency of 1.8 gigahertz versus 2.8 gigahertz in the Tiger Lake processor, uh, it jumps to 4.2 gigahertz versus 4.69 gigahertz in when the load increases, uh, tr is still trying to maintain this 15 watt of the thermal envelope. So we see this thing in the benchmark score of which is 50% higher for a AMD compared to the Intel. The single core performance should still be similar on the similar range. So you should not see any difference if you are doing something which is light load browsing uh, or doing a word processing or most of the things. But as you switch to a more work uh, low, workload heavy, for example, uh, compiling your uh, huge uh, source code, that difference should show up at least for a, a small amount of time. Uh, another key difference is that Intel is running behind in the process technology. Uh, AMD outsources this to TSMC, the Taiwanese manufacturer. Intel is still trying to improve its existing processor. It improved its 10 nanometer process to, 10, to uh, improve some of its gating thing. And that brings us a little bit of incremental improvement over its previous uh, Ivy Lake, uh, Ice Lake uh, and that improvement is of the order of 10 to 15 percent and that is still not uh, good enough though it does uh, improve the things a bit. So maybe the Intel's plan is to add a parallel line of uh, uh, process by outsourcing its process technology to uh, same sources that AMD is using and that's one way it could catch up in the number of cores thing because 7 nanometer to 10 nanometer is not just 10 percent if you square it 7 into 7 is 49 and 10 into 10 uh, 100 that is more than 30 percent. Uh, coming back to the GPU uh, the, 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 the bulk of this improvement comes by increase in the number of execution units from 64 to 96 which is 50% increase and then we also see that the clock frequency increase from between Ice Lake to Tiger Lake by 50% so 1.5 into 1.5 2.25 roughly doubles the performance of the graphics processor and also there is slight improvement in the pro in the in the efficiency of the execution so that brings up the uh, graphics performance. So this is a very broad overview of how what kind of the pro improvement we are looking in the Tiger Lake and that's one thing we, we see in the 3D mark. Intel is uh, finally catching up the uh, AMD in the graphics performance and that should uh, bring us some of these lost uh, revenue back to uh, Intel though the things keep changing and AMD could be c coming up with its next 
uh, improvement and then the and then the equal is to uh, v so this is a very broad overview uh, emd will be still leading in terms of the heavy cpu heavy workloads uh, and then and then the graphics there should be parity the the issue that i see is that in amd is this processor is still probably not available in general there is a shortage of this processor uh, but you could still look for the laptop coming with this one this processor 4800u and the same story we will have to watch and wait for the tiger lake but this is how the story is as of now if you uh, i need more information just uh, subscribe it and put your comments and i will cover more information as it becomes available thanks for taking a look